Philadelphia Eagles' Chris Long, Malcolm Jenkins and Rodney McLeod expressed themselves during the national anthem before a game against the Arizona Cardinals in 2017. AP photo Matt Roark, Eagles safety Malcolm Jenkins had a message to deliver Wednesday after President Trump abruptly cancelled the Super Bowl champion's visit to the White House on Tuesday. But instead of reading a statement or taking reporters' questions after practice, Jenkins, an outspoken civil rights activist and member of the Players' Coalition, held up a series of signs and shook his head in silence. Reporters kept volleying questions at him anyway. Jenkins kept reaching for the next cue card. He held up one sign that read, You aren't listening twice during the two-minute encounter. In 2018, 439 people shot and killed by police thus far. In U.S. population 8% equals African-American males. Shot by police 25% equals African-American males, read one card. Any given night 500,000 sit in jail. Convicted? No. Too poor? Yes. Number and cash bail, read the next. Eagles teammate Chris Long gave his entire year's salary to educational initiatives. Colin Kaepernick gave $1 million to charity. Devin McCourty, Dern Harmon, Matt Slater and Johnson Batamosi lobbied to raise the age from 7 to 12 for entering the criminal justice system, read another car. One sign featured the names of fellow NFL players whom Jenkins labeled as real American patriots. Others listed the social causes, including voting rights, sentencing reform and education funding, that some of those players have made public policy priorities. Jenkins' display comes after vociferous pushback from Eagles players and Philadelphia politicians after Trump cancelled the team's visit and claimed only a small delegation from the roster would be attending to celebrate the first Super Bowl victory in franchise history. Trump in a statement said players abandoned their fans and sought to cast their absence as part of the NFL's national anthem debate, even though not a single Eagles player knelt in protest during the anthem last season. Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney shot back that Trump was a fragile egomaniac obsessed with crowd size and afraid of the embarrassment of throwing a party to which no one wants to attend. Jenkins in a tweet said, the decision was made to lie and paint the picture that these players are anti-America, anti-flag and anti-military. We will continue to fight for impacted citizens and give a voice to those who never had one. Later, he posted messages about Pennsylvania Clean Slate Act which would place records under seal regarding nonviolent misdemeanor convictions 10 years and older. Read more from the Post, Sally Jenkins, the Eagles beat Trump by doing what NFL owners wouldn't. They ignored him. Fox News apologizes for implying Eagles players were kneeling in protest. They were praying. LeBron James, Kevin Durant and Steph Curry agree, we don't want a White House invitation Tory Smith, so many lies in Trump's statement on Eagles' next White House visit Brewer, the NFL would rather bury anthem protests than address the issues behind them NFL owners approve new national anthem policy, hoping to end controversy.